To write a good piece of Chinese calligraphy, you need a good writing brush. To find a good writing brush, the Daiyuan Studio is the best place to go. Founded in 1916 by Daiyuan, a native of Huzhou in Zhejiang Province, the studio enjoys fame as the best handmade Huzhou-style writing brush shop in Beijing. In 1993, Daiyuan was listed as one of the time-honored brands in China. Walking into the century-old store standing on Dong Liu Li Chang Road in Beijing, you can find almost every different size and type of Chinese writing brushes. There's a workshop in the backyard where you can watch how a writing brush is made by the experienced hands of Daoyuan workers. The brushes are known for being sharp, neat, plump, and bouncy. The tip of the brush should be as sharp as a comb and bouncy. The hair should be neat. The brush should be well stacked and plump. That makes it easier to show vigor in your handwriting. Daoyuan's writing brushes are generally divided into three categories: gold hair, whistle hair, and mixed hair. Different types of hair are used to form different parts of the brushes. Mixed hair brushes are an innovation of Daoyuan. Gold hair can be mixed with other materials such as bristle and horse hair. To create a brush harder than goat hair and softer than whistle hair, it is also the hardest type to make because different types of hair should be arranged by their lengths and properties according to a certain proportion. It takes years for an apprentice to master the craft. No machine can do it. In the roughly 10 square meter workshop, workers need to repeatedly wash the hair with lime water and comb it for days before arranging it to create the brush's tip. It is not an easy job to do. In summer, no air conditioner or fan is allowed in the workshop because the hair is so light that it would be messed up by the wind. And in winter, workers have to use cold water because warm water would make their fingers swell and numb. Patience and enthusiasm are essential for the job. Finding workers with those qualities is a big challenge to the century-old shop. 因为你面对的就是谁来接班，谁来继续做这项工作。现在年轻人大学毕业了，你让他坐在这儿坐不住。他就是说，你这个东西再好，你是反复的在做同一种工作。这个呢，就是说怎么来改变这个状况？有的时候可能提高工资待遇，可能有些事还跟工资待遇没有关系。因为还有一个新人，这新一代人，比如八零后、九零后，再往后的人，他的兴趣的问题。像我们找的时候，第一个要求，热爱传统文化。Another challenge is the shrinking market. While Chinese people have been using these brushes for thousands of years, their utility as writing tools has been eclipsed by the use of pens and computers. Daoyuan's customers are mainly traditional Chinese painting and calligraphy practitioners. It is also looking for other ways to increase its sales. Such as selling sets of China's four treasures of the study as business gifts. 应该说呀，随着这个社会的进步，我觉得啊，这几年大家对文化需求的这个这个需求的增加，对于我们这个非物质文化遗产的这个大家这个宣传这块啊，大家了解的也比较多了。近两年从经济效益来讲，应该是逐年提升的。提升幅度还是相对比较高的，就是说有用的，有礼品，比如有一些商务礼品，这些都在都在进入我们这个消费，所以使我们这几年的发展趋势是非常好的。